This is a uh, quick video on how to install Wodeflow, uh, which works with the, uh, with the Wode on 4.3 firmware. Uh, probably should have made this video a long time ago, but we thought Nintendo was going to update to 4.4, etc., but they've been really lazy. 4.3 has been the latest firmware for a very long time. Uh, Alright, so the first thing you need to do is you need to download the files that's going to be in the link uh, in the description. Uh, in the YouTube bar below and it's going to be a zip file and what you need to do is download the zip inside the zip there's going to be these three folders in one file you just need to unzip it, drag it straight onto your card so as soon as you click on the card in, it should be right there, not inside a folder inside there All right. the SD card you use has to be 2 gig or below once uh, the homebrew channel is installed, you can use a 16 gig card to have the files in there, but you must have a 2 gig card or below to install everything. So, first thing I'm going to do, we're going to whack this in here. Now, this SD card contains a hacked save game. Unfortunately, the Wii doesn't allow you to transfer save games to your console unless you play the game first. So, if you just zoom in on the uh, on the Woad base there, um, we're just going to load up uh, Lego Indiana Jones which is the game you need um, for this tutorial let's get closer you can hold it alright so if you look at the screen now Lego Indiana Jones is loaded all you need to do is go into the game for seriously like two seconds Wait for it to load, and then you can just power off your Wii, and then power it back on. Once, once you've kind of gone into a game, the Wii says, "All right, you've played the game, so now you can transfer the save game to your Wii." So now we're going into Wii Options, Data Management, Save Data, Wii, SD Card. And you've got US, Japan, and Europe. Europe is Australia, New Zealand, and all of Europe. US is US and Canada, all the, the NTSC U region. Uh, so we've got a Power Wii, so we're going to choose Europe. Copy. Do you want to copy it to your Wii? Yes, we do. Now, there are other games that, that you can do this with if you want. Uh, they go Batman, uh, Super Smash Brothers, but all the all the uh, instructions are different. So we're just going to show you Lego Indiana Jones. All right, back to the loads. We're just going to load uh, the game again. If you have um, the disc, of course, you can run the game from there. But we've got the load, so it's it's easier and quicker for us just to load the game straight off the hard drive. So now the game's gonna load. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. So the, I guess the technical details of this is that we're loading uh, a hat save game, uh, and then we're, we're kind of crashing the Wii, and the Wii's becomes kind of vulnerable um, and basically the code that's in the, the hack save game says look to the SD card for a, an ALF file which is kind of like a, an EXE file for a Wii um, and that'll install the homebrew channel. So we click start, load game, the first game there 0.0% confirm load yes. Now you don't need your nunchuck for this regardless of what it kind of says at the start you can just use the Wii remote on its own. So once the game loads, you're going to hook a turn here, keep on walking around this corner. Sometimes when people walk through the door, you can't get, okay, it worked fine that time. If you can't get through the door, just kind of jump and it'll get through the door. Go up to this black dude with the bazooka, go two to the left uh, with the little stop single, press A, and the Wii's crashed. Reads off the SD card, valid, elf detected, and that's the homebrew channel installer.
All right, so it'll just give you a warning page about not you know meant to sell this software. Okay, so and you right. click continue. Uh, the first option here is install Homebrew Channel. Can you zoom in on that? That's all right. It's first option. A. Hey, do you want to install the Homebrew Channel now? Yes. It takes like two seconds. Then you go down to exit. Now the Homebrew Channel is installed. However, if you click the Home button uh, on the Wii Remote, you'll see it's 1.08. There's two versions that work on 4.3, 1.07, 1.08. 1.08, for some reason, has this little bug where if you don't, um, if you don't have Wi-Fi connected or if your Wi-Fi is kind of dropping out, Wordflow will freeze after like two or three seconds. Um, now, we didn't go straight to 1.07 because I think there's a bug with that that um, doesn't allow you to install it properly. So we installed the newest version then what I've got here on the SD card is Wordflow, but I've also got the installer for the old version. So what we're doing is we're clicking on that, loading, and we're going to basically uninstall the new version of the Homebrew channel and install the previous version, if that makes sense. It sounds like a lot of mucking around, but that's just it's a once-off. Um, and I just spend an extra two minutes here, and, and it'll mitigate all, all the issues you can have in the future with... Uh, with the program crashing. So you press 1 when it's ready, click continue. So you're basically going uninstall Homebrew Channel, yes. Install Homebrew Channel, yes. Exit. Alright, after you've done that, you can basically delete the installer now. So you can just click on uh, that, delete, yes. And you got Woeflow. Now, uh, track it back on the woads. The best settings um, for the woad, press eject because it's still going to have um, Indiana Jones loaded. The best settings if you're always going to use woad flow, go into settings. Oh, by the way, I'm using 1. Point, um, sorry, 2.8a uh, as a firmware. If you watch this in the, in the future, it might be a higher version, but please be on at least that. Um, go to settings, uh, make sure your region's right, obviously. Go to woad settings. They've got this new feature called Stealth Mode on. Stealth Mode makes the word invisible to the Wii, um, except for when it's loading games. So you want to turn that off, otherwise the word flow program can't communicate with the word. Auto Load, you want to auto load CFG. Uh, then you go back one, and you click on Save, click to the right, and it'll save the settings. So basically now when you, you turn the word off, uh, the Wii and the word, sorry, turn it back on, what it's going to do is it's going to automatically load up into a special menu option on the Wii. And what that does, the technical details, is it basically loads a really small, like an 8 or 16 kilobit ISO. Because um, you need to have an ISO engaged for Woadflow to work. Um, so instead of kind of waiting for your hard drive to recognize and, and then loading a game, it kind of defeats the purpose. You might as well just load the game that you want. It just loads an 8 kilobit ISO within 5 seconds. If you look on the TV screen, um, you've got a GameCube game there loaded. So you're not clicking that, you're clicking the Homebrew channel. So if you want, you can just move the channels around to make it easier. So you basically power up your Wii, Homebrew channel, start. As soon as you load up the Homebrew channel, which is installed in your Wii, it looks at the SD card. You've got one program on there, Wordflow. Click it, load. takes a second and then it just lists all your games. I've only got one game on the hard drive so it's list, listing the same game over and over again. Um, you can click this button here, the settings button. Uh, I've also included, and you click uh, the second tab, theme. I've included one theme for you guys which I think is the, the best looking one called Violet. So click that, click back and you've got this really nice kind of scrolling uh, look of all your games. Now you can either point to the screen and, and click the buttons, or you can just use left and right on the Wii Remote. Um, you can press 2 on the Wii Remote, and this is going to kind of cycle through four different views. Um, you can see the kind of the text is getting chopped off here because it's, it's kind of optimized for widescreen, um, widescreen TVs. Now it looks pretty cool, but obviously you guys want the, the covers, the front and the back covers for all the all the games, so. Um, if you have an established internet connection um, via Wi-Fi, you can just click the settings button, download covers and titles, click download, 
Uh, click all the first time you do it, and then click missing every time you get a you rip a new game on your on your on your Wii that doesn't have a cover. Just click missing, and it'll just download it straight there. Um, take about one meg each. Um, so if you have a two gig or one gig card, like you're never going to fill it up. So there's plenty of room. Um, you can favorite games if you want. So you can click that button there on a game, um, and it's going to set it to favorite, just in case you get like you know 20 games or, or whatever. Uh, then you can click that button there in the bottom left-hand corner, and it'll only list your favorite games. There's a whole bunch of different settings that you don't really need to to worry about. You can install different things if you want. Um, so that's pretty much it. So what you want to make sure, if I, if I press the home button, it's going to go back to the homebrew channel. Um, what you need to make sure you don't do is um, upgrade to the latest version of the homebrew channel because you don't want to you don't want that issue to kind of creep up. So when you're on this page, if you click straight into Wordflow, it's not going to have time to kind of ask you, but if you have Wi-Fi connected and you wait on this screen for like 10 seconds or so, uh, it's going to pop up, pop up and say, hey, there's a new version of the Homebrew channel that's coming out. Do you want to upgrade? Make sure you don't pay for it. You know, it's free, etc. If you click yes to that and update, you're going to be back on um, 1.08, you know. Um, you want to be a 1.07 just for now. Um, in the future, if Nintendo do release a... Um, you know, a 4.4 firmware or 5.0, whatever it's going to be called. I mean, every single version will delete the homebrew channel. It's guaranteed, pretty much. You know, it's very easy for them. You know, and they they, they did on did that on purpose. So if Nintendo wants to remove it, it's not a nasty uh, kind of uh, you know deinstallation, uh, uninstallation. It's just just a matter of, of removing a ticket. Um, so you want to kind of keep your Wii on 4.3 if you can. If you know, if 4.4 or 5.0 come out in the future. Um, there probably will be a new version of the Homebrew channel and the way it works is that same screen will pop up and say hey do you want to upgrade to I'm not sure what it's going to be called, maybe 1.1 version of the Homebrew channel um, and if you click yes and install that I'm just kind of guessing what it'll be like um, from what's happened in the past once you upgrade the Homebrew channel if you then upgrade your Wii after that the Homebrew channel will still be there it's not guaranteed that all the programs will work but um, so it's, it's best to just kind of wait and then check out the Word forums for support and, and news on that. So that's pretty much it. See you guys later. One quick thing that I wanted to add. Uh, when you actually click into a game to run it, it unmounts the uh, that little GameCube ISO. Uh, and then it, it, it kind of mounts the game that you want to play. Um, once the game's running, um, you don't... You don't have to if you don't want to, um, you know, turn off your Wii just to select a new game. Uh, what you can do if you want, just wait for it to load. As I mentioned before, the Woeflow needs an ISO or something engaged. It doesn't need that that special disk. That's just kind of to make it easier. So if I go back to the Wii menu and click OK, it's still got, you know, Lego Indiana Jones mounted um, over here. If you click into Homebrew Channel, start. Wide flow, loads. Everything still works. So you don't need to turn your Wii off every single time, but you just need to exit back to the menu, jump back into the Homebrew Channel, and that's it.